Rochdale, birthplace of asbestos, and this is where the trouble began. Now known as Spodden Valley, but once the Turner Brothers asbestos factory. Today, many gathered at Rochdale Town Hall. They've lost loved ones to mesolithiomia, a cruel lung cancer linked to asbestos. But campaigners are now worried the disease could still pose a great threat to our young people. Asbestos is used, has been used up until the 1990s in a variety of public buildings. And there is a campaign at the moment to identify the fact that damaged material in public buildings, including schools, could put people at risk. Last year, 89 people in Greater Manchester were diagnosed with mesolithiomia. Of those, 56% were tradesmen, like plumbers and electricians. Today, the Health and Safety Executive launched a national campaign to raise awareness. But is it too little, too late? Asbestos diseases take decades to show themselves and the concern is that work people in their 20s and 30s now could be getting cancer in 2050, 2060. Today also remembered the tragic loss of a campaigner, Abdul Chowdhury. He worked at the Turner Brothers site and became a National Health and Safety Commissioner, often asking uncomfortable questions about how proposed homes could possibly be built on a site riddled with asbestos. He knew what that site was capable of, because he was its health and safety officer back in the 1970s and 1980s. He was a, a former employee with a Turner and Newall pension. He stood up in, for what he believed in to make sure that people in Rochdale were protected. For decades, workers ignorant to the effects of asbestos went about their business. But it's hoped this new campaign will raise awareness in the workplace and eventually phase out the use of asbestos altogether. Beverly Walkden for Channel M News.